So if you've been playing the legendary mobile cross-platform compatible MMORPG advertised all over YouTube, Genshin Impact, you'd notice that MiHoYo every few patches likes to toss in 4-star weapons with grindable refinements that are completely free to get. From the festering desire, to the Dodoka Tales, to uh... The catch? Would it be the V catch? The squared catch? Never mind that. The catch is a 4 star polearm introduced in the newest 2.1 patch, which greatly amplifies the effects of elemental bursts by increasing the damage and crit rate. This weapon synergizes well with characters with a longer and drawn out burst, such as Zhang Ling, Zhao, and the most recent character, the Raiden Shogun. Now, if you're fortunate enough, like me, to have the Raiden Shogun, and, uh. Unfortunate enough to get screwed over by the weapon banner. Damn it, Mihoyo, I will not build <laughs> Noel. Then this video is made for you. Now, before I get into how to obtain the the uh, all right, whoever named this thing deserves to be fired. <clears throat> now, before I get into how to obtain this weapon, I want to quickly mention how long and tedious this weapon takes to farm. You're gonna need a lot of patience, like a whole lot of patience. Oh my gosh, dude, Paimon, I swear. Victory is almost ours! It's good to what know, is Paimon. It? What is it? Is it another Paimon? Oh, please, no, I don't need that in my head. I don't need that image in my head, please. We don't need two of you. Well then, let's get started. Alrighty, so in order to obtain the catch, all you have to do is go to Inazuma City and go north a bit. Here you'll find this NPC. Her name is a bit too long, so I'll call her Momi for short. Once you talk to her, you'll see the catch pop up and all you have to do is buy it. That's it! Remember, if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Alright, so obviously it's going to be a bit more complicated than that. In order to obtain this weapon, you're gonna need to collect 6 Raimai Angelfish and 20 Rusted and Golden Koi. In addition to that, you're going to need 12 more Raimai Angelfish and 40 regular and bitter pufferfish each for the refinements. So how do you get those, you may ask? Well, by fishing. In 2.1, MiHoYo introduced a new mechanic which allows you to obtain various amounts of fish like it's Animal Crossing. To unlock this, you just need to finish the fisherman's quest. I forgot what the actual quest name is called. And after a few minutes, you'll have your rod. However, that's not all you'll need in order to obtain the required fish for the squared catch. You need specific baits in order to reel up the fish. The baits you'll need are the false worm bait and the fake fly bait. You can get them by teleporting to Mondstadt and talking to this NPC here, who will give you the recipes in exchange for... More fish. Come on, man, just a little more patience. The fish you need here are the Madoka. Oh, wait, no, the Madaka. You can reel these things up using the fruit paste, which you obtain through the original fishing rod quest. And they're pretty easy to reel up. I'll leave a map where you can find these, as well as the rest of the fish needed, down in this, the description below. I had most luck finding the Madaka in Storm Terror's lair, just for reference. Once you have your six Madaka, you're ready to buy the two required bait recipes. Once you've done that, you should craft the bait. I did some math, you know, because Asian stereotypes, and I found out that you need 120 fake fly bait, both for the koi's and puffer fish, and 18 false worm bait for the Raimai angel fish. But it should be noted that you should make a few more just in case you, you know, mess up a reel while you're fishing. Before we continue, it should also be noted that you can only catch a certain amount of fish per day. And I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but the respawn time should be around 24 to 72 hours, but I'll get into how you could bypass that later. Now, as for catching the fish, I've had good luck catching pufferfish down in Cider Lake and Dawn Winery. Koi can be caught pretty easily in Luhua Pool and Guili Paint Lanes. What the heck? I just noticed it's so hard to pronounce these when you read them out loud in Leeway. As well as the newly added Koseki Village in Inazuma. Obviously, these aren't the only locations you can catch these fish. They're just the places I've had the most luck based on my experience alone. Again, the full map guide for all the fish will be in the description below. Now for the Raimai Angelfish. They can only be caught in this specific part of Inazuma. Be careful when you get here because mobs will spawn here in addition to the highly dangerous water. Once you're here, just use the false worm bait and get to work. It should also be noted that these fish are possibly the hardest fish to catch in the game as they have this speed up mechanic on the fishing meter. I was super lucky however, I was able to reel up 5 angelfish before they all despawned. Now, I know what you all are thinking. Oh my gosh, Seismic, you said you teach us how to get the required fish for R5 catch in one day! What the <coughs> f- You're lying again! Oh my god! And that's right! 
I'll teach you guys how to grind this all in one day. If you guys just noticed, after a few hours of fishing, you won't have enough materials to get the weapon in one day. However, that statement is false if you have friends. You see, if you have any friends who lost the 50-50 to Diluc like I did and have no use for the catch, you could raid their world and steal their fish, and in the meantime you could show off your sexiest <coughs> ride on Shogun they lost in the 50-50. Once that's done and settled, you should be good to go and get the catch. Just for reference, grinding a whole R5 catch took me 6 hours on the usage of 4 people's worlds, not including my own. So um, yeah, what I'm saying is, it is possible to catch... to get... What the hell? It is possible to get the catch R5 in one day, just not recommended. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and go follow my Twitch. I stream Genshin Impact regularly, alongside Valorant and Stardew Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope your guys' Raiden Shogun will be happy with this amazing weapon, because it's all clear that we lost the weapon banner 50-50. Mihoyo, please buff ball.